In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're going to go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. Last week, we, Dave, myself, Ed, and Maria, found ourselves on a ferry to Fogo Island, where the views, the hiking, and the icebergs were way beyond our greatest expectations. And as we were leaving the island, we saw one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. We had to pull over and just take a minute to bask in its beauty. And now we are just moments away from checking off a bucket list item. You won't want to miss this boat tour. You may just recognize this location from a couple of videos ago when we were at Twilling Gate. That's because we are back. And when we first came to this town, there was something that we were planning on doing. It didn't work out. That's the whole reason we came back. And tomorrow is supposed to be a clear, sunny day. And we have an adventure plan and looking forward to it. I can't wait. I just hope it happens. I wanted to show you our backyard right behind the van. We had a couple of chairs set up here before it started raining. Just looking out over the bay here and spotted several whales. So they are already here. They were pretty far off, so we were not able to get them on video, but nice to see them up here right from our campsite. Today we are in Twilling Gate and we were here two weeks ago and the bay was completely full of pack ice. There were no boats going in and out. And one of the things that we wanted to do the most while we were here was to take an iceberg tour and that wasn't gonna happen. But it is today, the ice is almost completely gone and we have a tour scheduled in about an hour on that boat right in front of us. And we are super excited can't wait to go check it out it's a cool little boat too it looks like a rigid hull inflatable i think it's going to be fast it's going to be able to get close closer to the icebergs than the bigger boats so this should be a good time uh, all right they are giving us outfits to help keep us dry and warm everybody's just about all dressed up and ready to go it's time for us to load up on the boat it's hard to believe that all these people are going to fit on this one boat Watch your step, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the Twilling Gate Spirit, guys. I'm Jeff, I'll be your tour guide. Hi, Jeff. Hi. So who's excited to go see some icebergs? That's why y'all came here, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. Is there a heat wave today? You're the only one. Well, I gotta dress all you fine folks. So that makes you hot. I will cool down and put my clothes on a bit later, but uh, for now I'm gonna stay like this. Right? So before we get going, guys, I'll tell you a little bit about Twilling Gate. It's gonna be real simple, actually. That's the north side. That's the south side. That's it. This iceberg has been here for three weeks and is grounded. It's grounded because it's stuck or touching the bottom of the ocean floor. Now, normally we only see 10% of an iceberg above the water surface. Why is this? Ice has a slightly lower density than seawater and this is why we see ice floating on the surface of oceans. Because the difference in density between ice and seawater is so small, only some of the ice is above the water. Now think about this. This iceberg is grounded or stuck on the bottom of the ocean floor. The water depth right here is 130 feet. So who can tell me why an iceberg is built? Big. 
This is awesome. That was a tall one. Did you know that 90% of the icebergs seen in Newfoundland are born off the west coast of Greenland. It takes an iceberg on average two to three years to travel 1,800 nautical miles before it reaches the coast of Newfoundland. And it has already lost 85% of its original size during the journey. Look at that overhang carry that ice. That's cool. That is neat.
on the character. Onto the monster. We're gonna shoot the gap here. Go right through this narrow area called the Tickle. Side of the cliff, and you're gonna see the inside, right? There you go. Oh, yeah, see daylight. Neat. Oh, that's super cool. You see that, Gary? Neat. Oh, that's awesome. Now we're going through the tickle. I was just telling. I was telling Ed a few minutes ago, I, go, I bet a boat could go through yeah, here. Yeah, well, you were dreaming. <laughs> I didn't think we'd actually yeah, do it. We're doing it. Awesome. Oh, this is super cool. Ice Island. It's huge. And the shoreline here is just great. Before you see this next iceberg up close and personal, you have to see it from above. This iceberg is nicknamed Ice Island. It has been here for two months and is grounded on the ocean floor at 180 feet of water. They believe it to be approximately one half mile long. That's over 2,000 feet long and 180 feet below the surface of the water. This iceberg is massive. Right over a line right there. Oh, they're coming in. Uh, I thought they were going out. Yeah. Got them. Yeah. Oh, they loaded with crap. They're slippery. Play. Try to get into your hands. That's cool. I 
was a kid, I'd be an idiot. I'd be boating out and climbing on all this. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> especially if my parents told me not to. I'd be yeah. like, no, that's not. Climb to the top of it. Yesterday we did the iceberg boat tour in Twillingate and it was just everything we hoped for and more. It was just incredible. We found this little spot to boondock over by the lighthouse. Uh, you've seen this spot before but we are a little bit closer to the edge of the cliff and what a day it has been. We have been in Newfoundland for 34 days. This is the second day that it has been warm. So we just sat outside in tank tops and flip flops and enjoyed the sun. Keep in mind, just four days ago, we all got snowed on. But wow, what a place to just relax. Watching the boats go by, watching the icebergs go by. There are so many icebergs right now. The birds are starting to nest. Just a wonderful day. Look at the view. It's just incredible.
If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.